Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we've got another box of nickels from Chicago. We've been having such good luck with the boxes of pennies and nickels. I went for another one. So let's, uh, I don't know if I can do this on camera here. I'll be right back. All right, we got it unsealed. Hopefully it's uncirculated, but we'll see. And it is. Yes. I mean, hopefully it is circulated, though, and it is. So, let's organize and get into it. All right. Nothing too exciting on Enderville. Um, but, yeah, we'll just start with this one. I can't see anything significant, so we'll do the first ten rolls, and if there's something good, we'll break in. All right. Nothing super spectacular roll one, but still... I'll show you anyway. So 1948, and it's a plain date. But oh no, it's an S. Look at that. That's cool. What um? Roll one, starting off already. All right, first ten rolls down. What we get? 1939. It's plain date, so I won't flip it. Same with the 41. It's still pretty cool, but it's not a year and S. And then we got a 55, no, this is a 48S, which is pretty nice. I showed you that already, but got a 55 and a 55D. Rather have a 50D, but that's another story. I'll keep looking. On to the next 10 rolls. All right, second group of 20, or second group of 10. <laughs> I got two dimes. What the heck? So I made 20 cents. And, and another 1955 D. And these are important. You got to check these out for D over D or D over S. There's a couple different varieties. So I got to uh, take them home and check out them the scope. So let's keep going. All right, now we're partway through the third group of 10. I think this is the seventh roll in that group. And we got some more. There's a 1942p, so that is cool. So very warm, but it's still silver. That's what we're here for. All right, we finished up that uh, last couple rolls in the third group of 10. And we got a lineup here. We got 1940, 41, and the previously mentioned 42p silver. Uh, these guys are plain dates, but still cool. Warm, but... Still cool. All right, here we are after 40, and we got a 1940. And the cool thing is, it's a D, so that's cool. And 1952, and a couple 53Ds. That one's actually not too bad. 1956D, 57D, D, and a 58D. And so all these have possibilities of uh, over mint marks or repunch mint marks, whichever. So I'll be checking that out when I get a microscope or get to a microscope. And then we found a proof. We got a 05 proof. It's an S. So not bad. It's all beat up, but you don't see proofs very often in a roll. So 10 more to go. All right, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. We only have two uncracked rolls left, and we're going through the third to last one, but I'm flipping through, and what do I see there? Hmm. Looks like an S peeking out. Right there. Uh-huh. Hmm. 1943 S. Isn't that nice? So that's the second silver in the box. And not bad. All right, we got to the end of the roll here, and this is the last group of 10. And this is a 1940S. That is cool. There's only 39 million of those or so. And then we got our previously seen 43S. It's 48. 70. 
Oh no, it's a 57, sorry. And these are 258Ds. And I will check them again for repunch mint marks or whatnot. So let's summarize in a bit. All right, let's put a wrap on this thing here. This is our second box of nickels in Chicago. So it's Adventures in Coin Roll Hunting with Mr. Funny. Yes, again, still in Chicago, or at least we were when we recorded this. So, 1939, uh, 1940, a 1940D, and a 40S. I got the trifecta. So, two 1941s and two silvers. I got a 42P and a 43S, and then a 48 and a 48S, and then down to the 50s, got 52, two 53Ds. 55, which is cool, 55D times 2, and I gotta check all the D's gotta be checked for mint mark errors. Uh, 56D, 57D, or 57ND, and then 58. 58D got a couple, and same 59 and 59D got two. So only 109 again, so those are so scarce, and then I found a proof. Um, so somebody didn't want it and busted it out. And then I got 20 cents. So all in all, very good box. I'm enjoying the coin roll hunting here in Chicago. It's almost worth staying just for that. But got to head back. So until next time, coin sense and nonsense. Bye-bye.